Alright guys, what is going on and welcome back to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald Egglock And if you guys are enjoying yourselves and this series so far, make sure you guys go ahead and leave a like down below Because of course, your support is very much appreciated So, here we are in Moss Deep City Because the last episode we actually went and took on the 7th gym leader Or the gym leaders I should say, Tate and Lisa And we lost a couple team members So in the grinding, well I didn't have a grinding montage But off screen, I had to train up some members of the team And something I did was actually swap out a bunch of people And here we have Amafryu the Charizard now Something that I did was I realized the team we built from the last episode that we did not have a flying type So I decided to swap out Evan the Magmar and bring in Char or Charmeleon Charizard I guess and uh, train him up to a Charizard So here we have Amafryu the Charizard. He's a fire flying type of course adamant nature blaze ability He's got fly rock slide outrage and flamethrower then we have Vernon D, the Celio, the only member that is on the team right now that was able to survive, survive the last gym. We only had two Pokemon survive, being Evan the Magmar and Vernon D, the Celio. Check out the last episode, it was, it was action-packed. So, level 41, thick fat ability, ice and water type, of course, calm nature. Hold the mystic water to power up surf, he's also got Aurora Beam, Body Slam, and Ice Beam. Then we have Geico the Sceptile with the Overgrowth ability, Hardy Nature, Crunch, Crush Claw, Dragon Breath, Leaf Blade. They have Aaron, the Laron, Sturdy Ability, Hardy Nature, Iron Tail, Mud Slap, Take Down, Rock 2. Then we have Tits, or I guess Tits, yeah. This <laughs> Sneasel, Inner Focus Ability, Hasty Nature, Faint Attack, Blizzard, uh, Fake Out, and Aerial Ace. And last but not least, we have Larry the Amphro, Static Ability, Hardy Nature. And then he's got uh, Body Slam, Thunder Punch, Thunder, and Thunder Wave. And that is the team right now. And I'm not going to lie, this is a pretty freaking powerful team. I do really like this team. So right now, I do believe we have to go ahead and now I think we go under to the seafloor. And we have to go dive or something. But I'm pretty sure we have to meet up with our good friend Steven first. So I'm just, I guess we'll just lead off with Geico. Um, I'm not sure if it's just it. Yeah, okay. This is where we have to go. Okay. What's up, dudes? How's it going? So they're just going to go ahead and move off like they normally do. Also, guys, man, 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 make sure you answer the question of the day in the comment section below. So um, they're going to have like fire types probably. I'm going to lead off with Aaron. And uh, we're just going to make it do what it do. And we're just going to go on. Is there an item over here? There actually is. We got a netball. So yeah, I'm really excited to use this team. There are a lot of really cool members, like such as Charizard. Is that Scott? Super feeling good, I'm doing great. I hear Moss Deep's gym leader is pretty strong, so I decided to come and take a look for myself, but there's something wrong about this town. People are going about in a warning letter from the Space Center. I don't think it concerns me in any way. Okay, so I guess he's just gonna walk off, so. Then we have another weird Scott encounter, and then there, of course there's that weird rock there that that lady just likes to stare at and stuff, so. We should be a okay. So what we're gonna, uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do is go up here to this uh, Space Center. How's it dangling, everybody? The rocket fuel for the space center and storage is what we're after. All right, so I guess that's that's kind of cool, whatever. Um, let's just iron tail. You know, of course we're gonna miss our iron tail. That's just how it goes. I figured that swapping it for metal claw is just kind of a risk, but you know, I guess there's more of a reward because you can do a lot more damage. But then again, it's like you know, the less of hit, the less of a chance of actually making contact. So I don't know. But, um, yeah, Tate and Lisa's, their ace was level 42, so I decided to grind everyone up to level 41. And um, I was originally going to do 40, but when I was switch training, because that's what I had to do, I accidentally got one of my Pokemon to level 41, so that's what we're doing now. Now we get to see the powerful Charizard, I guess we won't, never mind. I was going to say we get to see the powerful Charizard back spray, but that went away pretty quickly. Thunder Punch is going to connect, and since Thunder, uh, Thunder Punch is actually special in this generation, uh, it's just basically a Thunderbolt, so... What's wrong with you? You're outnumbered three to one, but you still want to take us on? A reckless go get her, are you? Okay, I'll go first. Oh yeah, we actually have to take three people on in a row. Well, that's kind of annoying, isn't it? I guess I could have went for Rock Tomb, but you know, it doesn't really matter because it's just one shot anyway. So, what what gives? You know what matters? Nothing matters. And eh, come on, are you freaking kidding me? Can I please hit through? Thank you. Gosh, ah, oh, that's so much easier. And what do you have? Probably just, yeah, ball toy. Something that we can just take out. One hit and dead. Not bad. Not even bad. So now, now, now we get to double team with our boy Maxi. Uh, what's the point of stealing rocket fuel? Fufufu, since you're so curious, you deserve an explanation. We're going to, uh, going to jettison the entire load into Mount Shinny. With Groudon gone, we have no need for that heap of something. So we use the fuel's power to make the volcano erupt. It will be savage. I think he said savage. I don't really know. That would be pretty sad, so you're going to help me. Let's go battle together. Are you ready? Yes, I am. All right, so 
I'm assuming he's gonna have his freaking camera upped. So I guess it's a good idea to bring Vernon D for sure. And um, damn, we get destroyed by like everything. And I'm a fry you. Or do I get three? Oh, uh, we can bring Larry there. All right, and he's got his team. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Mighty Anna, camera up. There it is. And Mighty Anna's level 42. Holy crap. Oh, I guess we'll just go for Surf here. And of course he does that on me. Like, god damn, of course. Are, are you freaking serious? No, fr- I was gonna say, if that thing wants to attack me, we're not we're, we're not gonna be having a good time there. That, that would kind of suck, but I guess we'll just heal up. That's so annoying. Ah, oh, come on. Alright, so we'll just go for that powerful Surf. We're gonna fall for the taunt, but little does he know, I could honestly care less about the taunt, so... Well, actually, I think that was Matang that fell for the taunt anyway, so I don't know. Camera up, double camera up, surf, one shot, and that should one shot the other. Oh, that didn't one. Oh, yeah, he's got an amnesia up. Never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. We just ice beat the crowbat. And, of course, we can't escape. Uh, thank God he's going to take out the camera ups. And will this will this do the final blow? Um, oh, come on. Are you freaking serious? We can go for surf now. Thank God he does not actually confuse me, though. That is very great. Surf is going to go over. And can I just kill you? Awesome, 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 awesome sauce right there. Golbat and uh, another surf, I guess. And this should be it. And it is. And we're level 42, though, so that's pretty sweet. All they want. I just want to expand the landmass. I'm in with our leader. All right, well, I guess you can be with your leader, but your leader just got bodied, so I don't really know what you want to... What you want to do right there? So we failed to make our volcano erupt. We failed to control ground after we awoken it. Is our goal to expand the land misguard? Oh, misguided. If if we team magma are wrong, then might team aqua's goal to expand the sea also uh, be misguided? All right, we give up the fuel. There are about to be more important matters that I must examine. Ooh, that was I uh, was that was too tense. Thank you, Supra. I have something to give you as thanks for your support. Please come see me after this. Oh yeah, I don't live in Rustboro City. I live here right on this island. Alright, so I guess we can go meet up with our good friend, Steven Stone. With our good buddy, Steven. So we'll do that. Hold up. Hold up. Can we go down here? Down here? Up here? Up here? Yes. Okay, cool. So, let's heal real quickly because Vernon D kind of took a beating there. Well, not really, but, you know, Vernon D was kind of messed around with a little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit. So, we have to go talk to our good friend, Steven Stone. What's up, dude? How's it going? Supra, you can, you can see there's not much here, but this is my home. Thank you for all that you've done. You don't even have a bed, bro. There's not even a bed here. This is my token of appreciation. Hit a move, dive. Okay. When you see surf, you should notice the dark patches of water. Use dive if you come to deep water like it. And, and yawn, just like for no reason. So you'll drop to the sea floor. And you want to come back up, use dive again. In some places, it won't be possible for you to surface, though. All right. Actually, I think we talked to you. And we can get a King's Rock. Yes, we can. Oh, it's too fun. Are you freaking kidding me? The one time. I guess we can just use, like, this Carbos or something. There. On Zinc, I guess we can just use any. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. Can I just talk? Bro, thank you. Yes, there we go. We got the King's Rock. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. And now we can heal up. So, you heard the man. You heard the man, Stephen himself. We need to go ahead and teach one of our Pokemon. Dive. And it's definitely going to be Vernon D. Because Vernon D can learn it. And we'll just get rid of Aurora Beam. There's not much use for Aurora Beam. Other than like finishing off a Pokemon that we can use an Ice type move with or whatever. But if we go ahead and use a Super Repel. Which we do have. Which is great. I think if we just go straight down. This is actually where we have to go. So this is. That worked out very nicely. So we can just speed this up a little bit. Because it goes very very slow. And I don't want to waste any more time. And right here, yep. Yep, yep, yep. And here we are. What's up? So this, here's the C4 F C Flora Cavern. And I guess we'll just use Geico. Ah, strength. And rocks. Oh. Alright. Um, who wants to learn Rock Smash? I think Larry doesn't really have another move that got body slam thunder we don't really need thunder wave honestly thunder wave could be nice but i don't know just we don't really need it that much and of course we can just go teach it back or something and strength i'm gonna teach to aaron and get rid of body slam or takedown because this way we don't have to take any recoil and we should be good now so we'll just continue on 
And they're, of course, they're, are you kidding me? Come on, can we just, can we keep a repel going? I'm just gonna spray another one anyway. I, I do love in future generation, yeah, in the future generations, how they added the, if you want to use a repel, like, right after. Like, that's just so smart. I actually really thought a crunch would kill, but I guess not. I guess not. So now we'll just go up here. Oh, come, what the hell is this? What in the hell is this? Uh, hopefully I remember what I'm doing. Hopefully, because I know there's a strength puzzle somewhere. All right, cool, this is where I'm supposed to go. Uh, right here, maybe? Right here? There you go, okay. And this isn't the strength puzzle. Ooh, I can actually avoid that, can I? Nice, nice, look at those strats, look at those strats. Okay, so, <laughs> funny thing about this strength puzzle is a long time ago, I actually used to have, have, I used to have to have my mother do this for me. I would be like, mom, I need help with this, so I would explain to her what everything is, and she had to help me do it, so, I, ca I cannot get past that puzzle at all, and I think it's Earthquake. You guys do not know how long I've been waiting for this TM. This is probably the best, like, this is the best TM in this game. I, I do, I can confidently say it is probably the best TM in this game. And I'm just going to wait until, like, just wait for a little bit because it's too good of a TM to just throw away like that. So we're just going to wait. We'll just wait for a little bit and look at Mr. Kyogre right here. Hold it right there. Foo foo foo, so it was you after all. Behold, see how beautiful it is, the sleeping form of the ancient Pokemon Kyogre. I waited so long for this day to come. It surprises me how they've uh, managed to be here. That's all over now. For the real real realization of my dream, you must disappear. Well, alright. Alright, alright. So, Archie would like to battle Mighty Anna. Let's just Leaf Blade two times, and we should be good, I guess. Um... Actually, Crobat's gonna come out. Man, he just played me so hard right there. He really just played me. And I can't go out to Tits. God damn it. Um. We got to Aaron. I'm pretty sure he really won't have anything to take me on. So we can just rock to Mew. And I can just. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Hit through. Can we just hit through, please? He's gonna flinch me. Really? Oh my god. Thank gosh. That was so annoying. Sharpedo, Geico, it's your turn, bro. It's your turn, bro. Leaf Blade, take him out, of course. Mighty Anna. We'll go out to Tits, why not? I think we should be fine. We can fake him out. And uh, Blizzard. We're just gonna miss, so I guess we can't. Oh, we got the freeze! Nice! Nice! That's pretty nice. And look, I lost to a mere child like you. Wow, that freeze was pretty clutch, not gonna lie. Foo foo foo, I command you. I must recognize that you are truly gifted, but I have this in my possession. With this red orb, I can make Kyogre. The red orb suddenly began shining by itself. Oh boy! Oh boy! And it's just gone. What? I didn't do anything. Why'd the red orb? Where did Kyogre go? Hmm, it's a message from a member outside. Yes, what is it? It's raining heavily. Good, that's what should have happened. This is why we awakened, uh, we awakened Kyogre to realize Team Aqua's vision of expanding the sea. What, it's raining far harder than we envisioned. You're in danger. That can't be, that's just not possible. Hold your position and monitor the situation. There's something wrong. The red orb was supposed to awaken and control Kyogre, but why? Why did Kyogre disappear? What have you wrought? You're finally woken Kyogre, haven't you? Uh, what will happen to the world if this downpour continues for all eternity? The world's landmass will drown in the d deepening sea. Well, what? Don't get all high and mighty with me. Was it UT Magma that inf infuriated Groudon? So as long as I have this red orb, we should be able to control Kyogre. I should be able to control it. We don't have the time to argue about it here. Get outside and see for yourself. See if what I have wrought is the world that we've desired. Super, come on, you have to get out here too. What happened? What is this wretched scene? Did I make a horrible mistake? I, I only wanted... Do you understand now, Archie? Do you finally see how disastrous your dream turned out to be? We have to hurry. We have to see something before the situation goes completely out of control. 
Supra, don't say anything. I know what I have no right to be critical of Archie, but the way things are now, I doubt that we humans will be capable of doing anything about it. But neither can we stand by and just watch helplessly. The responsibility for putting to an end of the fall is to Archie and me. This defies belief. Those super ancient Pokemon, their power is unbelievable. They've upset the balance of nature. Well? Oh yeah, what's up, Steven? I forgot about you. Super, what is happening? This is terrible. After the scorching heat wave ended, this, del this deluge began. If it does not stop, all of Hoenn, no, the world will drown. The huge rain cloud is spreading from over Sutopolis. What in the world is taking place there? There's no point arguing about it. Sorry, I had to yawn. Sutopolis might provide answers. Super, I didn't know what you intended to do. But do anything reckless. Don't do anything reckless. Okay, I'm going to Sutopolis. Well, I guess I will too, but look at this downpour that's freaking coming down. What the hell, Archie? Archie went ham, so something I do want to check. Sutopolis is right there. Okay. Can I get there from going in here? I am actually not sure about that. I don't know if we need a super pal. Um, I'm not sure if I can get there from here. I don't know. Do I have to get over there? I think the better question is, can I get over there? Doesn't look like it. Alright, yeah. This, always, this is always the tricky part for me. Just figuring out where I have to go to get to the entrance to Sutopolis. It's just so difficult for some reason. What's up, mate? Mate, okay, it's fine. I saw a giant green Pokemon. That's pretty that's pretty dank right there. It's pretty dank. Alright, um... Don't I have... Ooh, item. Hi. A zinc. Okay. Alright, okay, okay, alright, okay. Oh, right here. Okay, this is good. Because that's Utopolis right there. Oh, I actually can get an encounter right here. I can get an encounter. So we'll do that. And it's a clam pearl at level 22. Let's see if I fake out will kill it. Because it's level 22 anyways. Alright, it doesn't kill it. Cool. Alright, and we just throw an ultra ball. And catch it. There we go. Nice. So we caught that thing. And here's the entrance to Sutopolis. And here we are. And hello. Okay. Groudon and Kyogre are kind of just going ham. They are just going ham right now. Oh, there's no chill. There's no chill right now. Look at this. World Star! World Star! Look at these guys just fighting. Pop him! Pop him, Groudon. Oh, not Kyogre. Pop him in the face, Groudon. Punch him. Punch him hard. Punch him. Yo, what's up? What's up, though? What is going on? What is going on? What if I could just, like, walk right in the middle? Like... There's, there's two, two freaking ancient Pokemon just brawling it out. I just walk right in the middle. I'm like, what's up, dudes? What's going on? Let me get a photo for the Instagram, you know. Oh, and Steven's right there. What's up, Steve? What's good, Steve? Those Pokemon fighting Grun and Kyogre, the two super ancient Pokemon, were awakened from a long sleep, and now they're smashing each other with the uncontrollable energy. You being right here, I'll take to all me that you're prepared to come involved in this crisis. Well, there's no, so well, there's someone that I'd like you to meet. Come with me, please. Alright, bro. Alright, bro. Listen, Supra, does seeing Granite and Kyogre make you think Pokemon are to be feared? It's not true. Pokemon are really more. Why am I asking you this? You already know. You already know the word more. Okay, here we are. Inside you'll find someone named Wallace. I think you have in, uh, have needed to help him or something like that. Something along those lines. I don't know. We'll use the Super Pell and let's make our way through the Cave of Horigen. Oh, wait, no. We don't even have to do that. This is kind of scary. Like, there's no music. Ah, so you're Supra. I heard the tales of your exploits. My name is Wallace. I was once the gym leader of Sutopolis, but something came up. So now I've entrusted my mentor, Juan, with the gym's operation. Groudon and Kyogre are two Pokemon we can wrecking havoc in and are considered to become ancient super, po super ancient Pokemon. But there aren't two super ancient. There's one more somewhere. Somewhere, there is a super ancient Pokemon named Rayquaza. It is said that the... It's said that it was Rayquaza that be calmed and the combatants in their distant past, but I have no clue as to where Rayquaza's whereabouts. Do you perhaps know where Rayquaza is now? He's obviously at the Sky Pillar. The Sky Pillar, that's it. It must be the Sky Pillar. Supra, there's not a moment to lose. We'll head to the Sky Pillar right away. Well, that was easy. That was a pretty easy conclusion. What's up, Steven? Um, I finished it. I, I did it. I did your stuff. Sky Pillar, that's where it could be. That actually is where it could be, bro. I... I mean, meanwhile, Wallace already had a had a heart to heart conversation about where the green snake flying lizard Pokemon is going to be, 
And um, that's where we're going to head in the next episode. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like if you did enjoy. Answer the question there in the comment section below. Next time, we're going to go ahead and find Rayquaza and hopefully catch him or something like that. It's going to be pretty freaking cool. Make sure you guys do not miss it. So, check out or be on the lookout for the next episode of Emerald. And I'll see you all next time. Peace out.